Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with Grandmaster Mode enabled, the day 992. And it is time to cleanse Sobol. Once again, we do have an elimination of all seed carriers and we could win this mission without using grenades or we're just not really caring too much because we're anyways getting to requisition and uh, there's only limited stuff that i'm interested in maybe a good halberd maybe a good terminator armor either way seems fine so we're just gonna go in we got the affliction team one more time we got some nice little uh, halberds here a couple of uh, staves uh, to give us um, the the Aegis back whenever uh, necessary or whenever possible and we got our grenades um, which should really do uh, most of the um, damage over time that this group is basing their capabilities on unfortunately we don't have a lot of perch uh, and we don't have a lot of heal and we don't have a lot of extra armor so we need to be a bit careful with that. Do we have a Medikai skull? That is uh, the question of the day. We got a Hela skull here, and I think you are running the Medikai skull. Okay, three arm uh, ammo must be enough to get us through the entire mission. I still haven't really found out how to use that flamethrower. I am wondering if we might need to have an armor that gives us a lot of speed. That extra, that extra grenade is fine, but theoretically speaking, if we do have an armor like this here with three movement speed, that allows you to get in range. Nah, let's just use uh, the grenades for now. And Gallant's Anina uh, will just stay in our hands. The flamers are a weapon that needs a rework. Closer cone, longer range should uh, should be an option for them so that they can at least compete with other weapons. All right, let's go. All right, let's jump into it. Data indicates the sons of the putrid eye use these roads as a base of operation. Another foul cult of Nurgle. There oh, that's a difficult mission. More of these seeds I know that map. Brothers, Without teleportation, this is not going to be simple. Ah, little room for error. Specifically, if we're being caught out of position by triggering these guys before before everybody has moved up, blade is yours. then there's going to be a real bad day. Standing ready. All right, moves to here, doesn't trigger. Wasting any points by pre -buff uh, buffing. Very nice. And this should trigger. One of the very worst enemies that we could theoretically get. Maybe the worst enemy for this team. These heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. And the reason why I'm saying this is, look, this guy here is immune to almost everything. Bleed. Yeah, well, it's just immune to bleed and has a lot of armor. And we're not dealing, we're dealing good damage to non-mechanical subs so demons, I'm for instance. The Emperor lights our path. Well, he's not immune to craze, right? 
<clears throat> so maybe that Holy would work. Emperor. Holy hand grenade for the win. <laughs> Very good, evil laughter there. Should remove the cover there. Alright. Extra damage. Burning for both of them, that's good. Standing ready. Face <laughs> into bleeding. Your orders? up very good hmm let's move over to here. Bleed damage does this uh, does this guy take four bleed and no burn so far? Okay, so move forward. I am the Imperial Put up our defense zone. Here we got solid six points of damage. So what we're going to do is we're putting this guy in a position where they will die next at the end of the turn. Yeah, that will be a miss, so we're not going to do anything about it. Can't really jump ultra fall far forward, but we can move up. of hits so to the unworthy gosh dang that was a lot of damage yes, although we blocked most of it right my blade is ever ready Down to three, fair enough. Your orders? Aye, sir. Good, that would be two hits. Brilliant. Let's try to see if we can get this big robot guy down. As you can see, we're wasting a lot of time just moving and moving and moving. Hitting him down. More damage. I am the wrath of Zyphos. My blade is yours. Yes, sir. 
good. We got a Halo Skull just in case if this year doesn't work out properly. Which I think it will not. Unleash me! Yeah, even with Four flames of purity, this is not going to work out. Taste my fury! Back, fiend! Alright. Well, it needs to be a distraction. Very good. Down to one hit point. Which is crazy if you think about it. Just barely managed to survive all of that. But yeah, I mentioned it's potentially very likely the strongest enemy against this comp. Purified this place. 105 experience. Yeah, he was worth every single experience point. Moving out. Careful what with moving up, Saiken. What is your will? My blade is yours. Seeking the We tainted. have all the time in the world. Unleash me. All right, and turn. My blade is ever ready. As you will. Ooh, much better. We shall be tested. That's my favorite type of enemies. Cluster up. Purge the beasts. of you crazed lovely and whilst we're at it a little bleed grenade oh yeah wounded. and a little bit of a fire um, should have done that beforehand. Good. Perfect option, by the way, for uh, the Fury here. But we're just putting up the Imperial Shield instead. Moves up. A bit more bleed. If you still breathe, fight! All right. Very nice. All right, as you can see, we're a bastion of defense. My armor remains a fortress. The reaping 
Rocket baby. <laughs> you will rise. See them fall, brothers. Praise the Emperor. Okay, before we're killing anyone. Moving up. Moving up. Standing ready. Moving up. Your orders. And now we can kill you. Nail. <laughs> Sanctified and purged. Seeking the danger. Your command. But the next one is a bit of a challenge because we see them from so far away. The moment that we see them, they're immediately being triggered. We strive. Luckily, lots of them are melee and they're clustering up. That's a perfect start. Heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. Oh yeah, the ultimate punishment. Listening to inappropriate Murphy for an extended period of time. I am here to serve. Moving now. But we're not going to get any closer. I will end this corruption. You start to burn. And perch, fantastic. Very nice. Everybody's crazed. Moves to here. Makes most of them bleed. Of course, not the machine. Can't reach anyone there. Hmm, that's a bit of a pity. Bleeding for seven. Yeah, might as well psybolt you. So that the bleed effectively is going to kill you. More bleed. Good, we could have used the Hailer Skull, but I decided to not do that. Instead, let the Crazed do the job. Slows us down. Wasn't working as intended, right? Fall, 
So for starters, you need to be healed. And the problem is also that the weakest, physically weakest unit Unleash has me. been in the front line, which of course we don't want I as well. But the advantage of that is with set positioning. Glory to Zyphos! We have no problem. We bring death in bringing death. Is ended. What is your will? Good. My wrath is restored, brother. Two out of three heal servitor uh, servitor scores. The Emperor are apart. Taking position. Yeah, the bigger suits can't jump, that's a problem. Standing ready. So we're stuck right here. Alright, let's try this again. Two turns in a row, just letting it pass. Is that floor ever going to stop being poisonous? Very good, three rounds it is. Fair enough. Good. Given that our healing chamber is out, having so Unleash much damage me. here on Botelidiero is a bit of a problem. Seeking the tainted. We don't want that to happen. Standing ready. My blade is yours. Your orders? It will yes. take quite a while for him to regain all of his hit points. Playing the game without teleportation has a completely different appeal. Makes it much more difficult. Because you need to really think about when you're going to engage and how far you are. Praise the Emperor. Range becomes a big topic. Unleash me. And movement speed for the matter. Unleash me. What is your will? Onward, brothers. All right, almost Shield. there. I am here to serve. We strive. Eager for gifts. Secure position. Advance. Huge, huge area we that he has covered the there. Of justice. Good. We're moving up. The Emperor, as you know. We're moving up. My blade is yours. We're moving up and... Yes, Commander. Uh, you would have never guessed it. Damn right, we're moving up. Now that we're moved up. This is para paramount. Because we, of course, want Sanctuary to happen. My blade is yours. For the Emperor! 
massive psychotropic Taste grenade there. Fury. And hmm. good question. All right, this should. Ah, okay, one of them is immune, but the rest is burning nonetheless. Okay, that's good. Hand grenades. More bleeding. The enemy weakens. I am the Imperial Shield. We're defending against approach. I like that. Some more bleed on the other side as well. Just keeping it balanced. Just realized I should have done the Halo School thing. Doesn't matter now. It's a bit too late for that. We're just offering a different target. Okay. Let's see if they even go for us. Unpleasant company. Oh yeah, we definitely do have some unpleasant company. <laughs> do we have an event where they ignore armor? Because that would be really, really painful. A lot of our team is built up on tanking and not on them ignoring armor. Oh, nice. Okay. Luckily, we preserve those Halo Skulls. Or that one Halo Skull. Alright, heal. And we're good. Pure among impurity. So, I don't see any. The Emperor likes any our event. But I do see the opportunity for a triple kill. I am his will. Good, you guys hit each other. Oh no, that's not the hit each other grenade. That is just the you start to bleed. Profusely grenade. This guy bleeds for six and has eight hit points, so what is your will? Oh we're silenced. Well fantastic. I am here to serve.
but this guy's taken out for now. That's a good uh, little start. We have Just starting to deal some damage so that the bleed uh, afterwards won't be a problem. Cybold him. Doesn't matter, so might as well just hit and disable his range weapon. Good, the bleed will do the rest. Moving now. Paladin is moving up. more bleed damage. Eat this. Feel my wrath. Blessings from the grandfather. <laughs> 21 bleed. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no match for the Emperor's chosen. My blade is ever ready. I am his will. All right, can we hit this guy? No, but we could move to here. Taking position, and then we can hit him, right? We put ourselves in burning. Fantastic. That hole walking in the middle of the fire thing didn't really work out in our favor. to tank and I think end of uh, the turn we're anyways out of here but as you can see without any teleportation uh, this is a bit more difficult than normal really is 
Astartes recovered. Beginning teleportation. 20, uh, uh, 20 bleed damage. Just too good. Okay, we're going to see wounds, but we've done it. So, what do we have here? More hit points, more willpower, more resistance. It's actually pretty damn good shield. Sure, why not? Six damage. And that is area damage. Which is nice, it's a weapon that effectively gives you area damage. Artisan Nullifier Matrix. This knight's Aegis Shield ability gains plus three armor. Ooh. Well, we don't have it, so might as well take it. And this is a Terminator armor with a passive equipment slot. Holy, that's the best loot that I've seen in ages. I like that extra passive equipment slot. That is not bad. I'm a big fan of passive equipment slots. Look at you, everybody got so much experience, so we got range on this bad boy and finally also some um, some willpower to use. We wanted to spend some more over here, so those will be the next promotions. Purifier, I like that and I like that. I'm not sure if we need more arc. I like this one here. The Flames of Purity now have a knockback. And this is permanent blindness. And this here is even more damage. So that will be our next level upgrade. One more Hala Skull. I like that. This might be interesting to just force them to stay there. Uh, the other option is to get more will points. I think we were okay so far, but to be fair, we only used Bolter and uh, the Discipline. Hmm. I tell you what, more will points is not a bad uh, it's not a bad decision. I've never regretted not having more will points. All right, time for us to move up here. Good loot. We found some good loot. Ah, Commander. Perhaps you can help me. I recently requisitioned a tome from the archives. The Treatise on Malays and the Hidden Arts by a Grandmaster... I already forbade it, Inquisitor. It covers restricted topics of Grey Knight's biomancy. It has no bearing... What does this warrior understand of study? Do you want me to combat this bloom or not? 
Ekta will prepare a, re a redacted I copy. I would have deny her the treaties altogether. Don't be too judicious in your censorship, Ekta. Hmm. Okay, not that we really need a lot of research. Because we already have so much research. Inquisitor. 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 <gasps> I saw it, Ektar. I saw it all. I thought you lost in the monster's mind. Almost, perhaps. But I've seen. <laughs> I've seen how the bloom yet remains so strong. Analysis. A weakening Inquisitor. A hopeless cause. It seems your crusade ends here. <laughs> Inquisitor. Its power is drawn from a wellspring within the Empyrean. A network of roots reaching directly from the Garden of Nurgle. Sever these roots and the seeds will wither. The bloom will dwindle and perish. That is deep within the Immaterium. Far beyond the Edict's reach. The Dominus speaks truth. To locate the Garden of Nurgle within the Warp would be impossible, even for the Grey Knights. I have no more insight to offer. We cannot track the remaining Reapers. Nor can we walk into hell itself, armed with only faith and fury. Even if we could, no weapon we possess could hope to cut them so close to the source of their power. I see no hope in this. There is none left for you, Carver. Not even that disgusting Grand Master could help you now. What did it say? Contradiction. Caldor Drago travels the warp freely. Ah, uh, true. Additional. He bears the Titan Sword. No purer blade has ever existed. Uncertain. However, no armament exists on Titan which surpasses it. We must try to reach him. Your Supreme Grand Master has been cursed to wander the Sea of Souls. Our meeting on the Craft World was blind luck. We cannot simply shout into the void and pray he answers. Contra assumption. Conditions on the Aldari Craft World were novel, but distinct. The birthing of the Reapers echoed through a breach in the warp. Drago indicated being drawn to the phenomenon. To recreate such a disruption would require a force of extreme... The Prime Seeds. What? We only hold three of those cursed things. Yes, but each one contains a massive concentration of bloom essence. If I were to destroy them simultaneously, all that vile power would explode in a massive dispersal. It might draw Drago's attention once again. Insufficient. The craft world existed within unstable real space. A breach in the warp would still be necessary. Yes, but if we were able to find a place where the veil between worlds was similarly thin... Conclusion. The conditions that drew the Supreme Grand Master on the craft world could be recreated. I suspect the warp storms that ravage this sector might offer a potential candidate. An astute recommendation, Ektar. I am impressed. Ugh. Commander, we should set course for the nearest warp storm and scan for the necessary conditions. She looks tainted. This 
We're right in a warp storm. How coincidental. Commander, we have identified an ideal location on the planet Sacrista for Fakir to perform her ritual and attempt to draw the attention of Supreme Grandmaster Kaldor Drago. This location has been added to your star map. It is... Alright, so... Reach the Cathedral's inner sanctum. All five spawns are here. And it'll be a big, massive mission. But there's also this mission here. Alert. And I won't just let any mission flounder. We want to get uh, to that warp storm anomaly. But not before I find and seek the bloom spawn. I wonder, do we still have that? Do we have? Do we still have the problems? No. Only thing that we do have is the wound recovery rate that is uh, not that great. But we can use our. Oh, we. Stratagems are still locked. Okay, we need to wait till this ends. I want to work with the stratagems, not against them. And we also need to do this mission here so that we can restart um, getting the Apothecarium on online. Okay, in the situation we just can't afford to go there. We still have plenty of uh, time left over. Let's do this mission, then I'll do the repairs and then we go to that strange world here, Ritual of Destruction. And that should give us Kaldor Drago, the Supreme Grandmaster. And maybe with his abilities we can finally go to the Garden of Nurgle. Oh, wow. We're reaching an interesting point in this campaign. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. The rest will happen in the next episode. Until then, have a good one and make sure that you cleanse the like button thoroughly. Take care. Bye bye.